Hey guys, Irene here. Today I'm gonna be following Jessica Kobesi's Photoshop tutorial. So I've seen these type of videos floating around on YouTube, makeup artists following other makeup artist uh, tutorials. So I thought why not bring this into our photography community and start with a Photoshop tutorial. Uh, this is how I learned Photoshop. I would just go ahead and search it up on YouTube and watch, watch a bunch of tutorials. Uh, there's always something new to learn. So I'm really excited to do this and see what kind of result am I gonna get if I apply Jessica's techniques to my own pictures. So let's go ahead and start. Folder here, I've played my action, which creates these folders. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm going to link a tutorial below where you can learn how to do frequency separation and exactly what this is. Um, I definitely would recommend it because this is how I retouch skin. This is so Jessica likes to use frequency separation for skin retouch. I personally use just a patch tool. I think frequency separation is a little bit too much of work for me. and. A lot of the time it kind of creates like a plasticky looking skin which I don't see in Jessica's picture so I'm kind of excited to try it out for myself and see maybe I'm gonna really like it who knows so she has a free download uh, link uh, on her website which I got and here it is I got it uh, already in my actions here in my Photoshop and I already played it right here so Okay, let's see what she does. This is the most effective. So we're gonna start on the low frequency layer. I always duplicate it, so I'm gonna press Apple J. Apple J. <laughs> uh, so I'm working with Windows, so I don't know what that would correspond for Windows, but she's just duplicating the layer. So I'm just gonna drag it here and get a copy this way. Okay. And then I'm just gonna start zooming in here, and I'm gonna show you guys kind of how to retouch the skin. Um, her skin is actually really good, so we're not gonna do too much. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start right on the forehead. Okay. Well, it looks like she just took a spot healing brush and just went in on it. Oops, I got a little bit too close. Okay. All right, so she's working on the copy layer. Just seems like she just grabbed her um, spot healing brush and just kind of went in on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. What? Oh, she's okay. So you cannot just click around. You have to click Alt and then press it. Okay. All right, it's not as easy as I thought. I thought you just kind of click on it and it starts to work. Okay, let me just start again. I'm gonna delete this copy and start a new one. I hate using keyboard. I hate like pressing on the keyboard. Um, all right, well, let's kind of, let's try. What I'm supposed to be doing? I'm really confused. I am really confused. Let's, it, did it even do anything? Literally did nothing. Okay, I'm gonna do it with my mouse. A few moments later. You guys, this is so confusing. I hate it. I'm literally multiplying. What am I doing? Two hours later. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm gonna pick like a good spot and then like spread it all over. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. I still prefer my patch tool. That's for sure. This seems like it's taking so long and the results are kind of weird. <laughs> but I think I'm getting it now. So pretty much I select the spot that's clean with Alt and then I put it on top of everything else, kind of. But it's... I'm just spreading like a spot around. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, I'm gonna have to start this. I'm gonna have to start this again. You know, you know, really. 
one eternity later. You guys, I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it slowly. I think it's working. Oh my god. I think I got it. I think I finally got it. Oh, oh, oh. You have to be ve Okay. You have to work in very small sections. The forehead still looks kind of messed up, but everything else starting to look pretty damn good. I'm quite liking this. Especially right over here on her cheek. I think that looks really damn good. Jessica, you might be on to something here with this action. Okay, 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 okay. It's starting to look better. Oh, holy. Oh! You have to be very careful. This, you can mess up easily here. Very easily. You have to work in very small sections. See, what I like about patch tool is that I can do this very, very quickly and I can work in pretty big sections, kind of just grab a lot. But this does seem like um, it looks really nice though. Like it does look nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of surprised. I thought it's gonna look way worse. <laughs> it looks pretty damn good, what the fuck? Now that I'm getting it, like, it looks good. It's just like she said, you just kind of have to practice it and not give up. Because I kind of gave up. Woo! Okay. Man, that actually looks damn good. Holy shizzle. Okay, let me just go just a little bit more in here. So pretty much, you select, like right here with Alt, select the skin that's good and then you put it onto the spot that you don't like. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna start using this. <laughs> the more I do it, the more I like it. I can't believe I was a hater. I can't believe I was hating on frequency separation. Okay, so I am done with the frequency separation and damn, it looks good. It looks really good and I, it looks very natural. And you can still see all of the detail in the skin there. Wow, I'm impressed. That's so cool. All right, let's go on to the next step. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start coloring this image and really pulling it together. Uh, let's first start out by adding a photo filter by going to layer, okay. new adjustment layer, and then layer, photo filter. New adjustment layer, photo filter, okay. <sighs> I usually just go like this and then go photo filter. So I'm just gonna do that. And then she chose, she chose the blue, I think. Yeah, she chose the blue. Let's and see, I'm okay. gonna go ahead and set this opacity or density, density to about 50. Density to 50. Okay, girl. 51%. 51, sorry. <laughs> Gotta do it exactly. And I'm keeping the layer at normal. And by the way, did you see what, what the mistake I just made? Uh, this yeah, girl, photo filter you made a is I didn't. supposed to be on top of everything. So Mine pull that layer <laughs> all the way back up and close the frequency separation folder. Just close it. You're, it's out of your life. It's no longer there. Like, stop trying to be in my life. You're closed. <laughs> You're out of it. Okay, so we're back <laughs> on the photo filter. That and that has nothing to do with my oh. personal experiences in my life. Okay, and let's go <laughs> to the actual layer. Just oh, select that God. layer, and we're gonna drag the opacity down to about 22%. Okay, opacity to 22%. There we go. Again, you can toggle this later if, if you wanna change your mind. Uh, next layer, the black and white. So we're gonna go to layer, new adjustment black and layer. White layer. Okay, so layer, new adjustment layer, black and white again. I just like to go in here rather than going into, it doesn't matter really. <laughs> black and white. Let's check this little tint box right here. Tint. Okay. Tint. Okay. Tint. Okay. Tint. Okay. Tint. Okay. Tint. Okay. Tint. 
Okay, we got the tint. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and I've never and done this. I've never used a the black and of white red adjustment here. layer on my And images. as you can see, um, it's making the picture look, you know, a little haunted Halloween. It's That's really the vibe I'm going for. That's the like theme that. of my life, Halloween. <laughs> Cause it's scary. My life is scary. Uh, we're gonna do Jessica, negative crazy. 76 and then you just want to also lower the yellows. And then okay, so 76. Mine is looking a little bit different than hers, but that's that's the life. That's <laughs> when you do these tutorials, that's sort of all okay. And the yeah, if you're not scared, then it's you're not doing it right. 83. Three. I'm definitely scared. So that is, according to Jessica, a good indication. Okay. So I'm pretty terrified right now. Okay. So we're gonna go from normal to soft light. Okay, and then we're gonna change it to soft light. Ooh, mine looks very contrasty. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the opacity on the overall layer to about 32%. 32%, okay. All right. Look how lovely made it that, pretty that contrasting. The next layer we're gonna go to is curves. So again, layer, new adjustment layer, curves. Okay, we're going to let's curves Let's go, now. let's get it. Okay, let's. Mm, let's go grab the curves. Okay, here we go. Bring this down. Only in Photoshop can you bring can you bring something down and feel good about it. Get it? Because if you bring people down, it's mean. But in Photoshop, it's okay. It's acceptable. Okay. Uh, let's go from normal to luminosity. I love using curves. And the reason why I like to use luminosity instead of the normal, actually, I'll show you guys real quick. Let's see. I make a quick layer like so. I feel like it adds uh, a little bit of saturation to the skin. It makes it look a little bit, again, more saturated. If you change it from normal to luminosity, you'll see that it kind of just tints hmm. the skin to be desaturated. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I've never actually used any blending modes on my curves whenever I add it, but maybe I should. Um, I noticed that Jessica likes to use different blending modes a lot, so she likes to use the luminosity one on her curves to make it more desaturated. Let's, uh, let's try it out. Which I like. So if you want the skin to be more saturated, go ahead, use normal. I'm using luminosity, and hopefully this is gonna look like what I did before. I'm gonna try to <laughs> okay, mimic we're gonna try. curve. So I'm trying to add more. All right, so let me just kind of start she goes up here and here up. This look right? Okay. Our texture into the skin. You can see as I'm playing with this, it is adding that detail back here. So really play around with the curves layer. It is very powerful. I just noticed that her picture is a little bit darker than mine, so I'm gonna quickly add another curves layer to just kind of um, get my image a little bit darker because I feel like it's quite bright. All right, I just added another curve layer just to make my image a little bit darker so it matches Jessica's a little bit more. Okay. And you might end up playing around here for Okay, so three to four hours. I mean, you're gonna play around in the curves for three hours. So let me kind of play around with this curve just a little bit more. Okay, so I think I'm good now. Uh, my curve looks just a little bit different than Jessica's, but um, you know, different images have different exposures and stuff like that. So you can't really. Um, rely solely on exactly what she's doing in your pic. Okay. And let's go on over to gradient map for my next one. And actually, right before gradient I do that, maps. I'm just gonna lower okay. the opacity. I love gradient maps. I use there them all go. the time. Let's go on over to gradient map. Okay, let's go to gradient map. Here we go, okay. Now I wanna use like a goldish tint and there's a whole set of uh, 
presets you can actually add on here. All you have to do is just go to this little wheel over here and then I believe it's photographic toning. So just add them all in there. They're, it's free, so you know, just do it. Okay, um, photographic toning. Okay, okay. Oh, I just, I think I just replaced my gradients with these two gradients. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Okay, <laughs> we got her gold too. Uh, and I'm gonna apply it. And we're gonna right. go from normal to soft light. Okay, we're gonna blend it to soft light. Soft light, where are you? Okay, got it. Soft light. It's a lot. And it looks a little crazy now, but uh, what I'm gonna do is just lower the opacity just to get, get a little bit of that color on there. 17%. All right, that looks pretty nice. I As like you can it. see, it does really make a difference. Let me zoom out so you guys can see overall. It just adds that nice tint. The next thing I'm gonna do, and probably the last thing, depending okay, on how I'm thing. feeling here, is go to layer, new fill layer, and then solid color. Solid color, all right. Oh, there it is. All right, solid color. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick this pale yellow color. Pale yellow. Okay, that looks more like it. And then just simply lower that opacity. Lower the opacity. Depending like on you know what you want to do, let me see if I switch it over to color. I think that works a little bit better. So, um, you know, for me, it's about making subtle. She changed it to actually saturation, and she put it to four. Okay, here we go. All edits and everything. So. Uh, each layer kind of has its own purpose, and I'll show you guys a complete before and after of this. That's before coloring, and that is after. Okay, so this is pretty much it. This is what Jessica does. I'm gonna put them into a group just to show you the before and after. Okay, so this is before and after actually pretty dramatic difference when I was editing it didn't seem as dramatic but now I can really see it and um, I quite like it I'm still such a big fan of dodge and burn so that's like the only thing that is missing for me I would love to go ahead and do some like light dodge and burn on this image and I think it would really bring back even more of the detail but I know that Jessica doesn't really do that. And it does look like Jessica edited this picture, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna use frequency separation now, at least on images that where the skin really, really needs help to kind of quickly soften it up just a little bit and then go into my patch tool. So I definitely learned something new today. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this and maybe I can follow someone else's Photoshop tutorial. So leave me suggestions in the, um, in the comment section down below. And if anyone wants to edit their pictures using my Photoshop tutorials and film a video about it, go ahead. I think these are really, really fun. Um, so yeah, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!